Who controls the past controls the future. Who controls the present controls the past. The death of bin Laden marks the most significant achievement to date in our nation's effort to defeat Al Qaeda. All you got to do is start looking around, start thinking for yourself, start investigating things, and you will see it all right there. So you have the power. Humanity has the power. We have the power. Do you want to fight? You better believe you got one. Let us never tolerate outrageous conspiracy theories. And for me, give me liberty or give me death! The answer to 1984 is 1776. I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com. Now today we're going to analyze some footage of a brand new cartoon that's been released on Adult Swim called Mr. Pickles. This is a tool they're going to use to promote Satanism so people watching it are going to think it's cool. It's an easy way to drop some subliminal messages while promoting this murderous abortion type agenda that they have. Some parts of the cartoon are meant to be blatantly obvious out there with the pentagrams and the running around and acting crazy. But there's one interesting part we'll show you that is very creepy. It happens in a blink of an eye and we had to take the footage, slow it down, and you can actually read what it says. It talks about the Illuminati and it talks about the devil and how we should worship him. That is the crazy part. That's in the bumper before the actual cartoon starts. Those subliminal messages resonate and sink down in your brain, and that's the kind of stuff that they're trying to do. It's actually against the law to even use things like that, those little flicker messages in TV and in movies. Now we're going to go to my office and analyze the footage, and we'll show you what we're talking about. Let's go check it out. All right, as you can see, this is off the Adult Swim website. This is the, uh, the front page for their uh, Mr. Pickles. You can click on... So far, they have the pilot out in the first episode so far. And what we're going to do is we're going to analyze some of the footage from both the pilot and the first episode as well. It's interesting, the first scene. Jane, do you love me? Of course I love you, Johnny. Then make love to me. I'm tired of waiting. Well, I'm not ready yet, Johnny. It's only been an hour since the abortion. So you can see right here. <laughs> It's only been an hour since the abortion and she has this teardrop tattoo to promote the fact that she's had, you know, this abortion, killed this baby. So that's how they open up the season of Mr. Pickles. Now, it's kind of hard to see, but they do these little quick flashes and this image pops up right here. You have the pentagram 666 and saying good boy. Then it zooms into the dog and you can see this happen. We had to slow this down a lot so you can actually see it. Here, I'll do it again. It goes in, the pentagram. Shows you the 666, the skull. Upside down cross with the pentagram in the middle saying good boy again. Pyramid, all-seeing eye. So, clearly, this is just another tool to promote Satanism. Now, what's interesting is this. Throughout the cartoons, you'll see a lot of parts where you're listening and then you hear him speak in like a satanic voice. So what I did is I will play the, the clip of him scrambled and then what I did is I flipped the audio so you can actually hear what it is he's saying and it's pretty interesting it's pretty creepy so obviously you can't make out what that is but then when I flip it around he says I love you very much I hope you have a nice day so Satan is telling the people that he loves them, and he wants them to have a nice day. It's hard to make out, but he says, beauty is not important. I must have you. 
So as you can see clearly right here, Mr. Pickle is sitting on top of a throne. You've got a pentagram here. You've got one here. It looks like it's written in blood. You've got this sexual slave type thing, torture devices, a severed goat head with horns on top of this uh, lady waving the uh, leaf trying to treat him like he's a king. All right, so in this scene, Mr. Pickles walks up to a herd of goat and then his eyes get big. He, it's almost like he possesses them and then he tells them that he is now their master. Little subliminal things like that. I really don't want to repeat what he just said, but uh, you can listen to it again. Holy smoke! So throughout the show, there's these little flashes of things. Like this is really quick happens. 666, pentagram, just craziness. They always throw these little things in real fast. So in a minute, we're gonna show you the bumper where it's literally like a blink of an eye and you see Illuminati, you see all this different stuff. Very, very creepy. All right, so here's the beginning. It says, since 1425, one secret organization, then it flashes over to the next set of texts, has sought dominion over the world of man and then really quick you get this flash, it says Illuminati. You've got to slow down the footage to see that. Then it goes, tonight it reaches a new level of indoctrination. And then you get a flash that says, hell, Baphomet. Really quick, once again, naked eye can't see it. We've got to slow it down for you to be able to see it. Then it says, with an animated show about a dog, give your soul to Mr. Pickles. And then it flashes a picture, an old school symbol of Baphomet, then you get a flash of a pentagram. And that happens a couple times back and forth over the give your soul to Mr. Pickles image. Well, there you have it. The cartoon is blatantly showing you Satanism and how this is something that is neat and trendy to watch on TV. You know, they hold you there for about 40 minutes and just keep giving you all these different images. You know, the cartoon part is blatant. They're out there, there, it's kind of like a joke in a sense. The creepiest part though is what we just watched, that, that bumper, that intro right before the show that just goes like that. And all you see is Adult Swim and then it cuts into the show. You know, when they slow it down and you're actually able to see the message that they are putting into your head, it is creepy, it is mind blowing. I personally don't believe in a lot of this uh, Illuminati stuff, that's just me, you know. I don't think that everyone who makes millions of dollars automatically is ushered into this group of elite Illuminati people that walk around with pyramids on them and stuff like that. But there's a lot of people out there who do. So here's the information. We've shown you what's in this. You know, the one part that I do find creepy, though, is that really quick subliminal message that pops in in the bumper. So take it as you will. Once again, I'm Joe Biggs with Infowars.com.